channel. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for stopping by. My name is Lisa and you are watching the Lisa Lanes. Here I make videos on couponing, reselling, DIY, decor, and just lifestyle things in general. Today I'm going to be going over um, how I consume the fermented garlic. I just made a video on how you make the fermented garlic and, and someone actually had a question about how do you take it um, or how do you eat it. Now the, the first thing I want to do, I want to say is the taste of it, the first time I tasted it, this is like my third batch, the first time I tasted it, it's so good. And my, the first thoughts in my mind was, this needs to be on some chicken. Sorry, not sorry. But it is so good. It just It's like this honey should be on chicken somehow. But anyway, I've done that. You know I've done that. So, But the way I take the, this one here, this is the ginger, garlic, and honey. And this is the one that I ground up in my Ninja. Uh, the thing is, with, with this one, it's supposed to stop the smell. So whenever you chew garlic, it's going to it's going to happen you're, you're going to smell it's garlic so the idea is not to chew it but just to swallow it whole and you should take a, a clove a day so with this one this is this is how i do this one just like i'm taking any type of medicine um a tablespoon a day here let's take it And that's all for that one. Let me put this over here. <clears throat> now the clove of honey, that's a little bit different. The clove of honey, there is no way of getting around chewing it. So you do have to chew it. And I can tell you that <laughs> chewing it, you are going to notice. I'm going to get a little, a little one because I know what the results are going to be once it gets into your body. I already know I've done that and I was like what did I eat today when you go to the ladies room anyway TMI I know I'm sorry <laughs> but with this one you just take a clove and it, it's just like ginger um, or it's just like garlic candy it really is um, let's go quick it needs chicken though it really needs chicken I'll put that down here either way you go I take um I just drink, drink water behind it. Now these are all for me anti-inflammatories. I wanted to show you a couple more things that I do for anti-inflammatory. Remember my goal is to boost my immune system as much as I can. I'm not saying that it's going to protect me 100% but it'll it'll make my immune system a little bit stronger once I am able to go out. I do go out as it is now but you know, just in case I wear a mask, I take all kind of um, precautionary measurements to make sure that I do stay safe. Another thing that I have is a turmeric, curcumin, is that how you pronounce it? But I take turmeric also. Any anti, anything that's anti-inflammatory, I'm gonna take it. So this is what that looks like, like this. And that's the turmeric. I'm, a, I'm the only one taking this, so I'm going to put that back in there. So I take one of these a day. And I also consume a lot of ginger, of ginger root. I put that, I put ginger in my, I put ginger in my smoothies and my drinks. You know that. I'll eat ginger just the way that it is. Ginger, is, it, to me, it's a little spicy, but I like that spice, so I'm okay with that. But pineapple... Any foods that you, you can find that are anti-inflammatory, for me, I'm doing a lot of those. Okay, so, but the the garlic, chewing the garlic, like I said, it's, it's garlic candy. Uh, it goes well with chicken. I'm telling you that now. Baked chicken, fried chicken, just drizzle some of that honey on there. After it comes out, it is so, so good. Let me know if you've ever tried anything like that. Actually, let me know what you're doing for to build your immune system or any anti-inflammatory foods that you're eating to help boost your immune system. Leave those comments in, down below for me, okay? All right, that's all I have for you today, guys. 
Um, again, thank you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing to my channel, turn on the notification bells, and hit the like button. All right? I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.